Hello, welcome to Gifford House. I'm Tony Monica, the president. This has been the president's residence since 1938. Please come in. reception area. There's a lot of artwork uh, here in the house, part of the university collection, and they rotate it through um, so that there's always some amount of artwork here in the house as well. This uh, area in here is the sitting room, and we're in the old part of the house. So this area is where we have uh, meetings with guests or family, friends, and others. And of course, if anyone wants to play the piano, we, we have that. We do use that um, for special events. Sometimes we have someone come and play. Do you play the piano? No, my, one of my sons does, but uh, a lot of students have come and played on it for events. One of the best memories I have of this room is in the time we did senior dinners. This was always a favorite spot for students to come and get a photo taken. And we always had it in front of the couch or the fireplace. Uh, it was always a lot of fun with students here, with their friends celebrating their four years. What's your favorite piece of artwork in the house? Oh, uh, I probably, um, I like that one because it's playful. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, I think that's actually by an SMFA artist. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. But that's the only one I chose. I like them all. They're all very inspiring. Uh, this is the dining area, but it can really seat up to about 15 um, if the table is extended. So we did have small dinners here to celebrate a professorship or something like that. But this really is the area that was added to the house in the 1980s which is called the Piazza. And this is where the big um, dinners and events go. Trustees have dinners here. We used to have senior dinners here. Uh, again, boards of advisors for the different schools. Um, many student or like special speakers on campus, we would host them for a dinner here. Um, it's a very functional room. It was great during the pandemic for my wife and I and our kids. But we use it when they're not having events as a big family room. We can watch TV here or uh, use it to hang out. And of course, uh, OBR cat has taken up residence. So you can actually have several hundred people here during um, commencement and reunions and things like that. What's the last event that you hosted here? We just had one. I think it was a board of advisors. So the, the board of advisors for different schools meet twice a year, and usually we host them for a dinner here, or they have a go to a restaurant or something like that. Can you tell us about the cat? Uh, that's Obi. That's a pandemic cat. Obi um, was a show cat. It's a Burman. He's male. And he has a small kink in his tail. And a heart murmur, and so they couldn't show him anymore. And so um, Zoya found uh, the owner online, and, and Obi became ours. Did you get that name, or was it? No, it was the name already of the cat. It's I think after one of the characters in Game of Thrones, Obatron. <laughs> I think Does he's the one that has a terrible end. <laughs> <laughs> Obi uh, was a client out of the vet school during the pandemic. He ate a mask <laughs> and got intestinal obstruction, so we had to get out there and unobstruct him, which he was successful, but I told him he only has eight lives left. <laughs> He's perfect. Does he get along with the dog? Yes, but the other cat, no. Everyone gets along with Juno. So this... Uh, area here we uh, obviously have a lot of pet stuff at the moment but this is the area the catering staff use when they're at an event here they bring all the food in they have warmers they plug them all in and um, they serve meals from here and then they take everything away 
This is more of a family kitchen. Uh, uh, you can see it's quite functional. And um, they do use this during events, you know, to place lots of stuff and warmers in, but they don't actually cook meals here or do anything more than warm them up. Do you cook? Yeah, sure. My wife and I did a lot of baking during the pandemic. We had banana bread bake-offs. Who won? Oh, definitely her, yeah. I'm good at eating them. Yeah, so it's a great kitchen. Um, it's nice and big. The Central Island is nice. What's one item that you always need in your fridge? Milk. I can't have coffee without milk, and I must have coffee. <laughs> That's a good answer. I'd love to get a magnet tour. Oh, uh, yeah, these are um, my rabbits in various pictures. So these are the little baby bunnies I got to know. Uh, that's Mama Doe, you can tell by the ear. We'll meet her later. She's about a year older now than that picture. She's the main dominant female in the garden. Um, that's Papa Doe, who's also female. I named him Mama and Papa Doe because they never fought, so I thought that they were a couple, but it just turns out that they're the two breeding females. Uh, and that's the hawk, and he ate one of my rabbits. So I'm not very fond of the hawk. Uh, and that is um, Junior uh, in his favorite spot, her favorite spot. How has this space changed since you moved into the house? Not very much. Uh, I would say that we moved some equipment out. There was a lot of equipment in here that no one needed. It was just historically here, so we just moved it out. But uh, other than that, the house has remained the same. Uh, and then in here is my office, which I took over uh, during the pandemic and have used ever since. It's uh, very much a, and, and, and with the famous Dottie and her tank. Dottie's in good form today. She's upright, which is nice. She can't swim, she has to stay on the bottom. But, um, You'll see her brothers and sisters downstairs later, and they are quite a bit bigger. So Dottie's about three years old, but she should be a foot long by now. Um, she's obviously a mutant uh, who unfortunately has lost the ability to swim, but she's very happy and healthy. Can't help but notice that you have a trap ball mouse. Now, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of track ball mice for ergonomics, yeah. throwing the carpal tunnel. Do you stand by the Yeah, I, well, because I got carpal tunnel syndrome badly uh, during the pandemic and, and recently, so I've had to wear braces and I've switched. But I do, I do prefer the Apple mouse when I'm working through the database because it, I can scroll faster, <laughs> um, which is one of the reasons I got the carpal tunnel syndrome, so I'm not sure it's a, a ergonomically good for me. But yeah, I, I have both, so I can switch off. And I've noticed you have the shades down. Do you like working in a yeah. darker yeah. environment? Yes, I, we can turn the lights on if you like. Do you nap on this couch? A little bit, yeah. Why not? I power nap. My sons were here during the pandemic, so they were doing, um, they had workout equipment. And this was a storage room, which I took over during the pandemic. Um, how's my fish? So I'll let you just go in and see. <gasps> wow. Can you tell us about these fish? There are four koi fish. One is similar to Dottie with a similar mutation, but obviously not as affected. <laughs> um, but they're about three years old. And they're Sanke, uh, Kahaku, and um, I call the one that tried to eat Dottie Hannibal. I had to separate them. Um, but they, they're very happy in here, and we can turn the light on. You can see them a bit better. And it's a little hobby. Do you pick a favorite pet with all of your pets? Uh, well, no, I, mean, I enjoy them all. I don't really have favorites. I, I come down here, I spend about 20 minutes a day having to clean the tank and get it ready and feed them. Uh, but I, during the pandemic, I used to use this room to uh, work. It was an altar office, <laughs> and I had a whiteboard in here. I did a lot of work in here, and they were quite um, relaxing. 
So, well, it's a long story, uh, as these things are. I originally had planned to put the koi fish in the pond, in the fountain, in the garden. I cleaned the fountain out, got it running. All the facilities guys were excited about, you know, re resurrecting the fountain. And then I put a tiny koi fish in, actually Hannibal. And uh, I came back later, and it was on the bottom. And then I looked, and the there were yew berries everywhere in the fountain, and you, there's a yew tree above, and yew berries are cardiotoxic to many animals, including fish. So I quickly got Hannibal out and resurrected him, and he lived to tell the tale, but I had to, I had to abandon the fountain idea. But then I had a growing koi problem, because they were this big, and now they're good. You know. So I, I went online, and I found this, and. A couple of the facilities people helped me put it in. It's been running ever since. It's a little pandemic hobby. And I plan to move it with me to my new house, if I can get it out of here. All right, who can spot the rabbit's nest? Let's see. I didn't even know rabbits nested. I didn't mind her. Back there? <laughs> it's, uh, no. It's really close. <laughs> <laughs> She's camouflaged it very well. It's right there. Oh my God. There are three babies in there. She pulled that branch over to disguise it as well. Is that right there? Yeah, yeah. There are baby rabbits in there. Yeah. Have you named the babies yet? No, I, I don't. I won't disturb it until. It, um, but there'll be two or three babies in there, and then there's another nest over here. Oh, there we go. Hello, my friend. There's another one back here. Again, they pulled the branch over it at the end to disguise it. But that's a much bigger nest. How many rabbits live in the backyard? Uh, there's about five of them total. Um, so they all hang out here and sleep here during the day uh, and then they nest and, and they come out and eat on the grass. So there, there's three of them up there now. There's Junior, Mama Doe, and White Nose right now. And there's Squirrely. Hi, Squirrely. Do you know all of the squirrels as well? Yeah. I got them to... Um, Squirrely will come down. <coughs> Squirrely's always up for a nut. What's that? Oh, is that a magenta? Who is it, Magenta? Oh, it's Magenta. You got to meet Magenta. Magenta is a female car northern cardinal. Hi, Magenta. Hey, Magenta. How are you? She'll come down. Okay. Oops, sorry. Sorry. So her and Red. So she's female, and Red is her partner. And they're another pandemic pet I have. <laughs> they, they come down to the door constantly for food, the two of them. Hi, Magenta. Do you ever feel like Snow White with more all like, the animals? More like Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see one, one over there, and then that's Mama Doe. She, that's her spot. She will never move from there. The hawk knows it, unfortunately. She gets attacked by the hawk a lot. How often are you out here? Well, I come out like every three or four times a day, easily. Now I have to know. How do you tell the difference between all the animals? They each have different marks. Obviously, magenta is quite different, but the rabbits have marks because of the um, hawk. So they each have injuries from the hawk. And so I can tell them all apart that way. It's unfortunate, but that's the way I can tell them apart. Uh, and then Squirrely will come down. You gonna come down, Squirrely? Usually you're not bashful for a nut. Uh, come on, Squirrely. Here you go. Squirrely. Oh, come on, Squirrely. You can do better than that. Don't eat the birds things. Squirrely's camera shy. <laughs> uh, she'll calm down. But I was hoping to s get a squirrel to stand at attention. I, I taught them how to stand at attention before they get food. Because no, really? they ate my car during the pandemic. They ate all the wiring in the car. And uh, so I was determined to get my own back. So I, I trained them that they, they have to stand on their hind legs in order to get food. <laughs> if it comes down, it'll, it'll, 
Okay, we'll see if we can get it. They don't like it when it's windy and cold, though. They, they won't come out there. I much. think it's the cameras. I think yeah, they're camera shy. Yeah, they're camera shy. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, there's um, the, all the pine trees here are full of nests, birds' nests. Uh, blue jays, the cardinals, well, the robins tend to use the fruiting trees, but a lot of animals nest in this area. What is it like living on a campus with students? Oh, it's great because you just there's always activity and it's easy for me to get back and forth from events. It's really nice. And just to confirm, you do actually live in Gifford House. Yes, all 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible uh, myth, I think, that the president for some reason wouldn't want to live in Gifford House. Why wouldn't you live in Gifford House? What's your favorite room in the house? Um, I don't know. I think probably, I mean, it sounds crazy, but I love my office. I mean, it's, I never wanted to go back up to Baloo. I, I just enjoyed working um, from home. But the Piazza area is the nicest, yeah. It's nice and light. Do you remember the first night that you stayed? As university president in this house? No. <laughs> <laughs> what does the transition look like with President Kumar moving in? Yeah, we're, uh, we'll be moving out the first week in June after commencement. And we bought a house locally, so we'll, we don't have much to move. We, you know, this furniture is all the universities and just some bed, bedroom items. And then uh, They'll be doing some work to get the house ready. There's some improvements that need to be done. The locks need to be changed uh, and the, some things like that. And then he'll move in probably um, right before July 1st. If you had to give one piece of advice to the new president about the house, about moving in or how to get situated in this living space and, and make it a home, what would it be? I think the house is, a, is naturally suits itself uh, the way it was designed so I don't think we'll have to it's not like you're forcing yourself into the house because it's designed to both have guests and large numbers and be a functional living space um, so it works quite well. Will you come back and visit your animals? Oh yeah I mean, he, he's gonna probably have to put up with me coming to see Mama Doe once in a while just to see if she remembers me. <laughs>